Thanks for joining us tonight. Authorities say Ryan Muehlhauser counsels people who want to, quote, escape the gay lifestyle. Muehlhauser faces eight counts of criminal sexual conduct. His alleged victims were going to him for help. Jana Shortles is in the newsroom with more. Jana? Well, Randy, what allegedly happened over a period of months between this Cambridge pastor and two men seeking counseling from him is shocking, to say the least. All of it detailed in a criminal complaint filed this week against 55 year old pastor Ryan J. Muehlhauser. We are about to share some of those details with you, but warn you, some of them are graphic in nature. In Cambridge, Minnesota, crime often is something that happens someplace else. A case such as this is really kind of a cannonball through the community. On Sunday night, the pastor of Lakeside Christian Church was arrested and later charged with eight felony counts of criminal sexual conduct. The allegations are these that Pastor Muehlhauser assaulted two men at least eight times while counseling them about their sexual orientation. To seek comfort and advice and help to address the pain that they were experiencing only to have them experience a, a more horrific type of pain, I, sadness. Investigators say victim one, referred to in charging documents as ABC, told police about the assaults last Friday. He claimed he met Muehlhauser two years ago at an event held by Outpost Ministries. On its website, Outpost Ministries says it works with men and women trying to break away from the gay lifestyle. Victim ABC said in counseling sessions, Muehlhauser blessed him by cupping his genitals outside of his clothing several times, and that Muehlhauser asked the victim to arouse himself in front of him and called it, the victim said, spiritual strength. The victim also reported that Muehlhauser would have him strip naked for more spiritual guidance and have him masturbate while Muehlhauser prayed over him. These allegations span more than two years' time, a fact not lost on the county prosecutor. You have a defendant who spends a significant amount of time working with and grooming victims, that these often are cases that take place over a period of months and years and don't happen in a vacuum. Ryan Muehlhauser is no longer in custody. I went to his home tonight in rural Cambridge. He lives on the church property, and he said he had no comment. I also left messages via email and phone to Outpost Ministries. I have not heard back. Randy? All right. Thank you, Jana.